Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Nuri and in today's video I have a mango haul for you guys. I feel like I haven't done a haul in a while so I'm really excited to share these pieces with you. I am trying to change the way that I'm shopping, I'm trying to be a little bit more responsible with my shopping which is why I haven't been doing as many hauls as I usually do and I'm also kind of being really picky with the kind of brands that I choose to shop from now but I think I'm going to film a video later on in the future talking a little bit more about that. So in this haul I've really picked out some key pieces that I wanted to add into my wardrobe to help elevate the pieces that I already have and to also kind of change things up a little bit. I also feel like I was lacking some pieces in my wardrobe, for example like some trousers, some basic tops, so I picked out these pieces. I just really want to focus on kind of styling pieces in multiple ways, which is why I haven't got a huge selection, but I've got a very well curated selection of pieces. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do enjoy this haul, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already, and let's get straight into it. up this beautiful structured coat which is a nice kind of beige color now the thing that drew me to this coat was how similar it was to my Nanushka Allura coat which so many of you guys loved and asked me to share dupes of and the thing that stands out with that coat is kind of the hourglass figure it gives you and on the model on the manga website I could really see that I feel like on the hanger you're not really seeing that hourglass shape hopefully when I put it on you'll be able to see that a bit more but I thought that the structure of this coat really made it look expensive and well made having a good structured coat in your wardrobe is definitely an essential it can really help to elevate a basic outfit and I also thought that this was a good coat because it's made using recycled wool and wool is obviously a good material to have in a coat for warmth benefits and also the fact that it's recycled means that it's helping with that whole sustainability element. Okay so having this coat on I can really see the similarities with the Nanushka Allura coat and I think it is definitely in the sleeves and kind of this section here Although I would say I would size down, so I got this in a medium, but I would get, actually get a small if I really wanted that nushka element because there's still some space here and I feel like if it was cinched in a little bit more, so with a one size smaller it would be a little bit tighter and then that would really give that hourglass shape. Maybe I can get this tailored, but look at this, it's amazing. Obviously the nanushka coat is grey, but I think the thing that was so popular with the nanushka coat is kind of the hourglass shape of it, the sleeves, how cool it is. And I feel like if you definitely want that, but you're on a budget, and also the Nanushka one is sold out everywhere, this is definitely a great alternative. The quality is really good, and I just think it's really stunning. I picked up these black trousers now as I said in the beginning of the video I am trying to shop a little bit more responsibly and if you guys watch my channel you know I already have tons of black trousers and the reason I picked these ones out is because they're different to anything else I have in my wardrobe so basically they're these high-waisted kind of wide leg pants with this folding at the top so you see this white bit it's not by mistake it's on purpose um, and on the model again I thought it would just look really high-end designs like this help to elevate what would be a basic outfit and kind of make your whole outfit overall look more expensive. I thought this would look amazing with a black bodysuit, um, but also like a bralette and a cardigan. It would actually look really cute with this. I think the pop of white is really nice. And I went for a size 12 in this because another thing I've realized, it's often better to get a little bit of a bigger size and then tailor it to your size. That also helps in making your outfit look really well structured and a lot more expensive. So for me, I have really wide hips but a small waist so I wanted this to fit loosely around the hips and the butt area but then kind of taper into the waist so we'll see how this one fits I think this folding design is really cool and I think we're going to see this a lot this year um, I've seen a couple of other retailers do this kind of style of trousers and I think it's just a nice twist on a basic black pair of trousers I love these trousers so much I've just I'm just wearing a basic black bodysuit this is from skims which by the way skims bodysuits are top tier my ultimate favorite bodysuits this is just a basic black bodysuit with trousers but look at this is a whole fit it's basic but it's a fit and it's because of this detail I'm obsessed I got a UK 12 but I feel like I could have got a 10 because look there's this much gap but the 12 for me is comfortable and 
If I do lose weight, because I am going to the gym, I can always get them tailored. Tailoring is the key, guys. If something's a little bit big, but it fits everywhere else really nicely, just get it tailored and it will look amazing. I'm obsessed. I love these so much. These could be like a Marmite trouser. I feel like some people will hate them because they kind of look undone and like it's a mistake, but the people who get it, get it. And I feel like they'll love it. It's just so cool. And I feel like with style, you need to have fun with it. Get out of your comfort zone a little bit. I'm definitely doing that this year. You're seeing a lot of color on me, a lot of different styles. Just to show you a different way of styling, I've popped on this green Stella McCartney jumper. I actually picked this up in the Harrods sale for like around a hundred and something pounds. So really good price, which by the way guys, if you are looking for like high end pieces, but you wanna, you don't wanna spend too much, Harrods sale is amazing. I picked up some great gems from there for like really good discounted prices. So keep that in mind. But yeah, this is a Stella McCartney green jumper. So still a pretty casual look, but I've just added a pop of color. So if you are someone who is looking to incorporate more colour into your wardrobe, this could be a way. Classic black pair of trousers and then a pop of colour with your knit or your bag. And then next up I have another pair of trousers. As I said, I am building up my trouser collection a little bit more because when I'm getting ready, I realise that I don't have a variation of trousers. I feel like I always go to my Sunda Bay black or white trousers. So I kind of wanted to expand that um, with kind of different styles and colors, which is why I went for these brown high-waisted pants. Low waist is in trend right now for the year. You will not catch me wearing low, low waisted things. I'm a high-waisted girl. I'm gonna stick to my high-waisted trousers. So all of these pants are high-waisted. For me personally, they're really flattering for me and I'm not ready to get my midriff out. Okay, so these trousers on, I'm not a fan of. I don't know what it is. It's like the fit of it and the material is very thin. Um, so it does feel a little bit cheap compared to the black trousers that I had on. So I'm definitely gonna be sending these ones back. The color is amazing. I wish they were in the black trouser material and kind of that kind of style. They're a different style. They're still high-waisted, but yeah, I'm not feeling them. But I've just styled it kind of how I would style these kind of trousers with this puffer jacket, which is from Remain and I've got a Uniqlo heat tech top on and my naked boot. Okay, and then the last pair of trousers of this haul are these, they're kind of like a grey white colour, a crew. Again, they're the same style as the black ones with this turnover waist. I just really like this detail and if I like it in black I thought I would like it in this colour too and I think this colour is really nice. It's not your standard white pair of pants. It's a little bit more kind of beigey grey toned which I think is really nice. Okay so these are the cream trousers on and as much as I love the black ones I love these ones just as much. They are beautiful. I've done an all cream white look so i've actually paired this with this is a uniqlo heat tech top although these trousers feel a little bit looser than the black ones and sometimes with brands i've noticed when they use different materials because obviously different colors require different materials the sizing can vary so i feel like these are a little bit bigger than the black ones styled the trousers with my naked boots this plain top and then my ysl croc bag so i popped on the coat from mango i think this is a look it looks really good i love this whole monochrome look and then adding this pop of colour with a bag and it's not such a bright pop of colour. I think this is a really cool look, I love this. This makes me want an office job. Like imagine walking into your office with this look. Like people would think you're the CEO. And then next up I picked up this really lovely Top. It's this really basic long sleeve top and um, again, this is a top that I feel like when it's on it will look better um, It has ruching on the side, which I thought was really flattering I love that it has long sleeves, but it's quite thin Which is a perfect kind of transitional top if you want to go into spring with it Equally you could wear it now when it's colder and like layer it up. It's really really soft I feel like this is gonna be amazing on the body and it's in this really nice creamy buttermilk yellow color 
Um, and I thought that this would look amazing with all three of the trousers that I picked up. It's just one of those basic tops that you can essentially style with everything. And it was under £20, which I think is a really good price, especially for mango. So yeah, I thought I would try this one out. Okay, so this is the top on and I love it. For such a basic top, it does a lot. And I feel like this ruching effect it creates at the front is really flattering. And it's also another way to elevate a basic kind of top. I've styled it with my new favourite trousers, these mango pants. And I've added this big brown bag my back in big bags are back by the way and i feel like with this restructured really look having a big relaxed bag really helps to kind of make it a little bit more casual a little bit more relaxed i love this vibe and this top is just amazing it comes in black and i think i'm going to pick the black one up as well this neckline i think is very flattering because i think it's called a boat neck um when it's like really wide here the long sleeves and then this ruching effect I picked up this black dress now I have this thing where if I see an amazing black dress I have to pick it up because there will always be an occasion where you need a dress and if you have a black dress in your wardrobe that's like your safest thing to have for example I had an event yesterday I went to the Brit Awards yesterday um, and I wore a black dress it's just one of these pieces that if you have in your wardrobe and there's something that just pops up you can always gravitate towards that and I saw this on the manga website and I just thought it's really beautiful it's your little black dress but the details is what makes it stand out. So you have these cutouts in the center. Cutouts are gonna be a big trend for 2022. This is very on trend, but still very classic. And then it has a slit on the side. So I thought this dress would look really beautiful on. It's gonna be one of those really flattering dresses, but still really comfortable to wear. And if you are someone who kind of wants to try out the trends for 2022, but still wants to be in your comfort zone, starting out with like a black dress like this, which is classic with a twist is a really good way to go. And this dress was 60 pounds, which I think again is a really good price for a beautiful classic black dress. Okay, so this dress on is really beautiful. I feel like the material used really allows it to form to your body, which makes it really flattering. You can also adjust this tie bit here, so you can tighten it up and kind of adjust it to your body shape. It's a really elegant black dress. I've paired it with nude mules to kind of elongate my legs and my mini Chanel bag for an evening look. I feel like this is just so beautiful and classic. Next up, I picked up this pencil skirt, which has ruching on the side and a split down here. I would style this with like a chunky knit and some chunky boots because the pencil skirt is quite formal. A little bit smart and my style is I don't know what my style actually is like I feel like I wear everything but I feel like for my day-to-day -day wearing how I would style this would be in a more kind of casual way so with a really chunky knit some chunky boots I think would look really cool but then equally for an evening out again if I wanted to go for a classic safe look I'm going out for a dinner I just want to be really comfortable but still look really good this with a black bodysuit a pair of heels my new heels. I'm going to style this with my new heels and show you how you could wear this for an evening look. So this is the skirt on styled casually. So what would be typically like a formal kind of work office skirt. This is how I'd wear it more for like day to day. You could obviously pop on tights underneath if it's a little bit colder. This is how I'm styling it with my big chunky knit. This is from Cos. It's cashmere. And I have been living in this knit non-stop. I took it with me to Copenhagen where it was freezing and I lived in this. It's the perfect knit. The colour is amazing and I think brown works really nicely with black. And it's a really chunky jumper. So what I've actually done is tucked it into my bra. So that's a really good little hack. If you want to wear a jumper, but obviously like if I tucked this jumper into here, you would see like a big bulge here and it wouldn't look as nice. So you just basically wear a bra and then you tuck the underneath into that bra and then it creates this kind of tucked look effect. So that's what I've done. Um, I've got my big Chanel bag. I feel like big bags really do make an outfit look casual. So I've popped on this big bag. My chunky boots, these are from a brand called Elias May via Office. Um, I'll try and link alternatives. <laughs> the skirt styled in a more dressier evening look so as you can see the skirt is very versatile I styled it in a chunky daytime look and then what I've done is popped on this halter neck top which is from Cos it's a little bit of a dressier top because 
This is the back of it. And then I popped on some statement heels. These are my new Rene Calvia heels. I think that's how you pronounce it. And they've got these crystal diamantes, so they really sparkle and make this an evening look. And then this last piece is a very beautiful bralette. I am a bralette kind of girl. I feel like from the start of my channel, I was always having like knit bralettes. Any kind of bralettes, I have it, just because I love how feminine and how sexy they are. And I love how you can dress up and dress down bralettes. For example, right now I'm wearing this mango bralette. So I actually have, this is a Kate cardigan off topic sorry but this is important this is a Kate cardigan and I actually have the matching Kate bralette it comes with but I've misplaced it so I just went for this mango one which looking at it now I didn't really need to purchase the Kate one because this does an amazing job and this is from mango a couple of years ago I think it was in a haul I did before um but yeah this is from mango I still wear it I still love it it's a knit bralette I popped on a cardigan so look I'm wear it casually for an evening look, I can undo the buttons of this cardigan, wear some high-waisted trousers, some heels. Bralettes are just a really good basic piece to have that you can really build an outfit with. So when I saw this one on Mango, I had to grab it. It's so beautiful and I feel like it looks really like designer. It looks really high-end. Okay, so this is the bra top on. I've styled it with the black high-waisted skirt and I popped on my Kate cardigan just for a little bit more coverage. But as I said, it really kind of makes your outfit look a bit more feminine, sexy, and you can definitely dress it up and down, make it a bit more casual. So I popped on this cardigan to kind of make it a little bit more wintertime appropriate. You still have a bit of your skin showing, but then you've covered your arms. And I think that's the key to kind of styling bralettes, having that balance. So I thought the bralette was the last piece, but actually I forgot to mention these boots. So I picked up these square toe black boots. I was just lacking a pair of square toe black boots in my collection. I really love square toe. I think square toes look really expensive, a little bit more high end. And the heel height for this looked really comfortable. It's in leather, so it's gonna last. They're a basic black pair of boots, but they're gonna be worn so much. I have a white pair that I got from Naked and I wear them so much. So I really wanted to get like a black square toe version. And I think these are gonna look amazing with those trousers that I showed you. And they were 120 pounds, but they're actually on sale now for half price so if there are any sizes left i would highly recommend because look how beautiful these are okay so that is the end of the haul i hope you guys did enjoy this mango haul let me know what your favorite pieces were in the comments down below i'm always intrigued to know what your favorite pieces were and if they're similar to mine and again if you did enjoy this video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already so you can keep up with all of my videos and i'll hopefully see you in the next one bye